If you are landing in Bali for first time, then it may feel hectic for you because of long queue for visa on arrival, custom declaration and tourist levy form queue. Some of you may struggle to fill up visa on arrival form and custom declaration form and it may cost you lots of time and energy. So in this video, I will give you some tips to avoid these long queue for your visa, custom declaration form and tourist levy form. I will also tell you about how to get SIM card and reserve taxi at very reasonable price. Once you landed in Bali, then you have to fill visa on arrival form which looks like this. And you have to buy it and it will cost you $35 then submit it. But again, it is very hectic because you have to stand in long queue. So best way to get visa for Bali is its e-visa or online visa. Yes, you heard it right. You can get e-visa form from the comfort of your home and you can avoid standing in the long queue. Let me show you the e-visa application and how you will fill it. So let's move to the computer screen. So this is the official e-visa website for Indonesia. From here you can apply for visa on arrival in Bali. So after visiting here, click on apply. I will provide link in the description for this website. So click on apply. Once you click on apply, you are directed to this page where you have to uh, select the country, select your country. So just select your country. Uh, now choose purpose of visit. If you are planning to visit here just for uh, tourism purpose, then select general family and social. Choose the purpose of visit. Again, you have to uh, choose tourism, family visit and transit. If you are planning to visit here just for tourism purpose. Now, this part you have to be careful and choose B1 tourist visa on arrival visa. And in this type of visa on arrival, you will get permission to stay for 30 days and you can extend your stay for next 30 days. So choose B1 visa and after choosing this, just click on apply. You can see that it will cost you 500k Indonesian rupiah. Now click on apply. Now here you have to upload the photo of your passport. So just upload it. Again, you have to upload the upload your photo. So upload it. Once you upload it, just click on next. After clicking on it, you will direct it to the space where you have to fill your personal information, your name, sex, place of birth, date of birth, phone number, document type and most of these information are already present on your passport so just refer to passport and fill out all these information when uh, you have to fill the box in address section then you have to fill the place where you are planning to stay so choose hotel or villa wherever you had planned to stay provide the address and postal code is already given in your uh, booking hotel address. So you can refer to your hotel booking to get all these information. Now, once you fill out all your basic information, then come to this section, which is main document. Here you have to provide the PDF format of your passport. So upload your passport in PDF format. And also you have to upload the return ticket. Yes you must have a return ticket. So upload the PDF format of your return ticket and your passport. And after filling these things, provide your email ID. I had provided some uh, random email ID. So you have to provide uh, your uh, personal email ID here. Now, once you fill out all these things, just click on next. Click yes. After Clicking on yes, you are directed to uh, this space where where you have to uh, check all the information that whether you it is correct or not. So simply you have to tick check mark in all the boxes. 
check, check, check. It is very simple. You don't have to think a lot because you had already provided the provided the information. Check, check. Now uh, click on this that you accepted the terms and condition. Now once you click save, then you will be directed to the payment gateway where you have to complete the payment. And once you complete your payment, you will suddenly get email of visa on arrival on your Gmail that you had provided in this application. So it is as simple as it seems. You also have to provide custom declaration form to clear the custom and uh, to get the custom declaration form you can visit this website and I'll provide you the link in the description. So once you visit at this website just click on next and provide your all the basic detail. And one more thing that I want to uh, inform you that you can get this custom declaration form just four days before you start your journey. So uh, be careful about it. You have to select date of birth, you can Ireland. Now, once you fill the basic detail, just click on next I'm providing some random detail but you have to uh, fill the proper detail basically in this custom declaration form you have to give information that whether you are bringing any prohibited item like firearms, sharp weapons, any kind of uh, endangered animal. So obviously as a tourist people do not carry these things. So you have to just declare that you are not bringing any, anything that is prohibited in their country. And uh, just select no that you don't have any such thing. You are not bringing any such thing and just click on this box and just click on send and after that you will get this QR code just download it and uh, you have to show this custom declaration form while you are clearing the custom it is as simple as it seems and it will save you lots of time to fill the custom declaration form once you landed at Bali airport you also have to pay tourist levy and which will cost you around 150,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is roughly around 9.22 US dollar. And the good thing is that you can fill it from the comfort of your home. So uh, click on pay tourist levy. And uh, once you click on it, you are directed to this page. Now you have to uh, fill all these details these are very basic details that you have to fill and once you fill it just select the payment method and pay 150,000 which will roughly around 9.22 dollar once you fill out all these three documents then just download them and take a print out of all these documents if you do that then you don't have to stand in the long queue after arrival at Bali airport and you can directly go to the immigration officer and produce them all the document that is required at the immigration office.
and after asking few basic questions they will stamp on your passport and you will get visa on arrival for next 30 days it is very simple and very easy process if you do it smartly and if you still have any doubt in your mind then feel free to ask question in the comment section